students, instructors who come uh, and do research in Kamjan. So uh, as you may already know, Yung Kamjan Hill is a, is a total area of 625 hectares, broken down into two, two areas. One is the Jang Hill Special Economic Zone, consisting of 301 hectares, and uh, 324 uh, spread out into the uh, barangays, uh, or otherwise known as the Jang Hill Reservation Area. So, um, Cup Jan Hay Forest, by the way, uh, contributes 53% of the remaining forest cover of Baguio City. Uh, and yet, uh, Cup Jan Hay uh, contributes 11% of the total land area of uh, Baguio City. Now, uh, the, fact that, uh, the fact that the forest cover is really dense in Cup Jan Hay accounts for the good quality air index in the entire police district. We have the we have the best uh, ambient air quality index, uh, ranging from like from 15 uh, micrograms per cubic meter to to uh, 28 something like that. You know? So uh, you know, sabi ni Mama, no? perhaps that is the reason why uh, this forest painting uh, project uh, has come to come gently, precisely because of the of the relaxing atmosphere there. Where, you can uh, just embrace the trees, uh, get the positive negative ions that your body needs for good health. No? Uh, and uh, also you can smell the, the leaves and all of that. So thank you so much for this uh, forest picking project. All right. So um, as we were discussing a while back, those uh, break, break out, break out groups, I was talking about uh, niche. So, kanya-kanya tayo, may mga expertise, may mga passions tayo that we would like to uh, to do to impact uh, society, you know? And uh, for us in Camp Jadhe, that needs is precisely yung forest water shed, which we must uh, preserve and possibly uh, develop sustainably uh, to benefit society. So, sabi nga niyo, stress na ang society natin for various reasons, di ba? So that uh, it's no wonder why people are flocking to Bakyo, but specifically coming to Camp Jani, precisely of the of the of the forest or the environment. So we at Camp Jani, the uh, mga gusto namin na mga areas in which we are inviting our students, uh, instructors to participate, is dun sa mga ano. Like, ito, ito yung uh, research topics that uh, we would like to uh, our students to engage in. Ito, actually, I, you know, we have development of the tourism-related statistics. Siguro si Atorni can uh, elaborate more on that. And then number two, feasibility, agroforest, recreational uh, adventure. Um, yeah, uh, specifically, we saw that the forest namin would be diversified. It's not just banked pine trees and a few number of rodent species, but we, we intend to plant uh, high value fruit trees, high value fruit trees into the forest. Kaya tinawag na agroforest uh, uh, recreational adventure kasi uh, while they are while they are recreating inside the forest, they they can, we can also derive. Uh, Incomes out of it by way of the the fruits that uh, will be gathered once they get to uh, to mature to be fruit bearing already. So, uh, may mga models dito sa Philippines like yung Rosa Farm sa ano? Where's that? San Marcelino, Zambales. Have you heard that? Yung Rosa Farm. Na uh, it's really a fruit tree orchard. Uh, gusto rin namin na uh, ito ay Ma, ma i pilot din namin sa, sa January. Then, feasibility study, establishment of biking lanes in uh, the January Special Economic Zone. This is, to, this is responsive to our uh, issue about uh, increasing uh, pollution, air pollution. So, we would like, uh, um, like to uh, encourage that uh, people would would rather uh, uh, bike than uh, 
this vehicle. So, yeah, yeah, uh, would like to establish biking lanes in Jangge, uh, like in Australia, where I, where I visited recently. Ang gaganda ng mga biking lanes in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, one of the pictures. But they really have good biking lanes and lalapad, mga three meters around the Swan River. The entire perimeter of the Swan River is a biking lane. At uh, maraming nagpa-bike doon. Very safe. Uh, civility study on Mulberry Garden. Yung Mulberry is a small size tree in which the fruit is edible. It's a, it's a kind of berry. So, uh, so namin niya ni Stavis sa sa Jandy. And uh, Skywalk, wow! Medyo panito. Ang uh, show sa ito, no? Skywalk. Uh, in, in Camp Jandy, you know? Yun na nga, again, that's uh, Australia, that's in the tree, you know, Skywalk. This is really a uh, high investment uh, infrastructure development. Because you know, the foundations are really to be, to be stable and safe. But uh, I don't know it's, if this is going to be really tenable. Our students can, you know, design this in a way na hindi naman siguro yung talagang heavy steels na kailangan. Pero, uh, I don't know, kung medyo low cost material, but still safe to the tourists, whether in Skywalk, parang portion of Jannay where you can be at level with the trees, pine trees, um, and then shelter services, uh, establishment of tree top cabins. Yon, mga tree top cabins, uh, maybe uh, needs in. Uh, some of the biggest pine trees in Camp John Day. Pero kami mga pine trees dyan with diameter like uh, 90 centimeters, 80 centimeters. They're still in Camp John Day. Uh, century trees. So those three type cabins can be established there. Then, uh, ito, research on flora and fauna. That is a very broad uh, research area, but we can break it down into one focusing on the best management of the baguette pine trees in Canada. You see our baguette pine trees are dying because of uh, uh, allegedly uh, the infestation of bark beetles. Bark beetles, you know, tips, tips, uh, But luckily, uh, the, the scale is not uh, on an epidemic scale na beyond control. Buti kwa lang siya is sporadic like 2% of the entire uh, tree inventory lang. But just the same, we have to control it because uh, one live pine tree is still uh, one live pine tree. So, <laughs> um, there has been two uh, research areas na sa best management ng big pine that have been accomplished. Pero may mga research gaps pa na po pwede pasukin, pasukin ng ibang mga students uh, towards uh, the uh, effective uh, control of best management of pine trees. Um, kasi imagine mo kung may, already may mga mortalities na ng pine trees, kung maging epidemic yung scale, imagine mo kung naging brown lahat yung pine tree sa, sa Camp Jandy. That would really be a dismal uh, environment, ano, uh, unattractive to visitors. So early on, mas maganda i-arrest natin yung, yung, yung problem. And then preservation and enhancement of the biodiversity. Maraming mga Mga bird species, mammal species, um, a lot of other uh, lesser known, lesser known miscellaneous species within Camp John Hay. So, baka hindi natin alam, mga iba pa doon endangered now or threatened, no? Uh, like for example, yung giant tree fern is considered an endangered species. But luckily, we still have a lot of uh, giant uh, fern population inside Camp John Hay. So, you know, maybe you would want to focus on this area about how to uh, enhance the biodiversity there because ang theory ko, pagka na-enhance yung biodiversity in Camp Janine, it, it might also uh, uh, positively impact on yung, yung attack ng park beetles. Kasi ang host nila is pine tree, yun yung paborito nilang pagkain ng pine tree. But siguro kung may mga ibang species growing side by side with the Benguet pine, baka maging deterrent yung population ng pine. It's just a hypothesis on my part. 
So, increasing biodiversity. And yung number nine, yung ecotourism park development in Kanjang. Sabi ni Ma'am Director kanina, no, ang isang lucky sa development ng urban park is overall. That's one thing na na-add that I have cuts sa uh, point. Is yung overall uh, develop, site development plan. Parang nangyayari piecemeal lang. One, one group would focus on a very small area, do the infra there, whatever, and yet hindi nila pinonsider yung, 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 yung a wider coverage. In, it's mas holistic yung plan. I've seen that in Australia. Pag nagplano sila sa Australia, very wide area of site development. And I'm talking about ecotourism uh, development. Na ang ganda ng design. Pagandayin yung design. Planning is very important, sabi nga ni Mondol. So, yun yung mga uh, uh, potential areas in which our students and our uh, universities can engage. At, um, yeah, uh, yun, I think uh, it also falls within yung tracks, two tracks na sinabi ni Ma'am. Yung one on traffic, public places, and mobility. Particularly yung new image for Baguio City Parks. Ano ba ang magandang uh, image ng Baguio City Parks? Uh, um, and then uh, yung second track, sustainability and the built-in environment. Talk about green architecture. Siguro, come to Camp Jange, how can we how can we improve yung bando? Yung, yung park doon. Uh, uh, utilizing yung green architecture concepts. So, friends, these are just you know, areas that uh, we can collaborate on uh, in, in, the, in the near future. Or we have already started. It is a good forum already. Uh, we, have, we had this last year, from the major so we just keep on going. Okay, Carlos. So, if I may add, these projects are in the pipeline of the agency. Um, so, I will take this for you, the me, that's the, if, if you would ask me for the Basi development plan, simultaneous po siyang ginagawa na yun. So, if you please call na may mag uh, students, uh, you would want to venture dito sa mga areas na ito, uh, magkakaroon ng separate arrangement. Okay.